Elder TV. I'm Christian. And I'm Tamia. We're here to start off your day by bringing you the latest in Bells and News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today is Monday, December 5th. It is International Ninja Day. Always been surprised by ninjas. I wonder what's for, for lunch today, Christian. Well, you can choose from rice bowl, cheesy beef burrito, popcorn chicken salad, or a turkey and cheese sandwich. Our sides for today are uh, blend vegetables and seasoned cubed potatoes. Over 1 million Android phones have been hacked. Now to CNN with the latest details. Google Duo wants to do for video calls what WhatsApp did for text messaging, bring iOS and Android users together so I can call somebody from an Apple phone to a Samsung device. I'm going to call my colleague Christina Aleshi. Hi Samuel. Why does Google need to do this? 80% of the world uses Android. They want to be able to video chat people who are on iOS. You can Skype someone right now. On Skype, can't you use an iPhone and an Android device? Skype should have been the king of video calling, but a lot of people don't even have Skype on their phone. I don't have Skype on my phone. Do you have Skype on your phone? I do not, but why is that? See, exactly, because WhatsApp made it a lot easier because you didn't need a login. But the point is, no one app is king of video calls right now between Android and iOS, so Google's trying to be first. Call quality is the most important, so what do you think? I think it looks awesome, actually. Better than FaceTime, but we're also professionally lit. I look like this in natural lighting. Doesn't it depend on the camera on your phone as well? And it depends on the internet connection. When's the last time that you did an Android to iOS call? Damn, dude. Never. See you later, Christina. Why does Google think... People who gave supplies to protesters at the Dakota Access Pipeline were being fined $1,000. Even though the fine is significant, people said they would still... They will still keep supplying their protesters until they support their calls for diverting the pipeline off of scarce native land. This weekend, a judge ruled in favor of the stopping the pipeline for crossing their property. Buzz Aldrin was taken away from the South Pole because of major health issues. Here's CNN with more on the report. <laughs> with the sports update. Take it away, Sam. Good morning, Bruins. Saturday, 8th grade boys will play the at Westlake and unfortunately was defeated by Fall Creek Valley. Today, both girls basketball trial and wrestling practice begin after school at 4 o'clock. <coughs> Wrestlers report to the wrestling room. 7th and 8th grade boys basketball will both practice in the main gym. Tonight, the Indiana Colts play against the New York Jets. Pre-sale tickets for the LC versus Ellen basketball game on Wednesday are now avail now on sale for five dollars in the LC athletic office. To attend the, the game, you must have your ID and be accompanied by an adult. Now here is Gabe with one of the, our wrestlers. The reason why I really like wrestling is because really um, you can um, pretty much make your opponent be sad and cry at the same time on the mat. So I really just like it because like physical contact and like you can like teach you a bunch of stuff from, like three years ago. Um, Coach Jefferson, self pretty much. Just try to get bullied all the time. Some classes. Well, a takedown you can do it from like a single leg, a double leg, a high crotch, a hip toss, a head throw, um, a lot of things really. Um, a pin, you have to be chest to chest with them and you can either like wrap your arm around their head and pin them or you can make them tap out. All together, my first season I went 13 and 0. My second season we went 22 and 1. Third season, 
I went 26 and three, and uh, this year I remember going to set a new record for the school at 25 and one problem. Really, just it's freeing to me. It get it get it keeps me out of trouble, and um, I really just like wrestling. I look up to people in wrestling. Uh, basically the fundamentals, like the basics of just trying to have fun and win as a team, basically. Thank you, Sam and Gabe. One additional sports announcement is correction from our swim coaches. The diving coach will have trials today after school. All summers will also meet after school today. Congratulations to Alex Edmonds, Jaylee James, and Kaya Wright. They are Mr. Schultz's students of the week. There will be no after school tutoring today. December is Human Rights Month. Here's a video to explain why. Human Rights Month. Human Rights Month is celebrated every December as a reminder, appreciation, acceptance, and understanding. Four basic goals stated by the Allies during the Second World War. They said every man and woman should know and experience four freedoms. Those are the freedom of speech, the freedom of everyone to choose their own religion, the freedom of fear, and freedom of want, so that the crimes against humanity, committed by Hitler, never happen again. In December 1948 the General Assembly of the United Nations put forth 30 articles that cover everything from the rights of education, freedom, health, and many more. This was the start of a world campaign to help people in need, to protect them from war, dictatorship, and to ensure that everyone in the world is allowed to live in liberty and safety. Even though it is the season to have hearts, hats, scarves, and gloves on, when arrived to school, your winter coats are to be put in your lockers in the day it should not be worn to class. Our interesting fact for today is the placement of donkey's eyes allow them to view all four feet at the same time. Today, that's no, that's so strange. Today's celebrity birthday is Walt Disney. Some of his top produced movies include Cinderella, Snow White, and the Seven Darts, and many others. I loved to watch Dumbo as a kid. <laughs> On this day in history, in 1933, Prohibition ended. What a relief. Quote today is from Joseph Campbell, who once said, We must let go of the life we have planted as to accept the one that is waiting for us. So true. Now to Mr. Harsha with the rest of your morning announcements. Have, have a, a great, great day, day, Bruins. Good morning, Bruins. Uh, real quick this morning, I want to give an update on our hero tracking system. Um, the majority of students in our building are doing an amazing job getting to class on time. There are, are a few students who were tardy the last couple days, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But as the week progressed, I think more and more students were using that sense of urgency and getting to class on time. We will continue that the rest of this semester. And I appreciate all the students out there who are doing the right thing. Remember, uh, as we get back in January, we're going to start using that tracking system for some positive behaviors and rewarding some students with incentives. So please continue to make good choices. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about, they did mention that the LNLC basketball game is this Wednesday night at LN. And I know that we get a big crowd in Lawrence Township for those games. And I just want to remind any Belzer students to make sure you understand that you will not be admitted into that game if you don't have your student ID. Just another reason to have that ID with you. Uh, I know that Student Services has been busy with students that needed replacement IDs. Remember, you can get those in Student Services for $1. Please make sure that you're doing that. The expectation is that all students have one at all times during the school day. Lastly, we've got a few minutes left here and we're going to wrap up the broadcast. Mr. Landers had an activity for students to do on Friday on Navience, and I want to make sure that if you did not get an opportunity to finish, you've got some time right now here uh, in college prep to go ahead and get that done. So please make sure you do and let's make it a great Monday.